what are my experiences with being stealth? And <laughs> I am usually stealth for the most part. I mean, I have just came out this past May when I graduated from high school. So that was pretty recent. And everybody that has known me has known me for a very long time. So they... They kind of already know my past life, if you will. <laughs> but people that I'm just now getting to know, it depends on where I meet you. Yeah. Because <laughs> at work, I'm not out to anybody at work because I don't want to get fired. I mean, my boss is pretty cool, but <laughs> it's not a risk I, ha I want to take at all. Yeah, <laughs> but um, at school, I completely Osiris. Whenever I meet someone, I introduce myself as Osiris, and I'm quite comfortable with that. So, my experiences. It's kind of weird living your life completely as male in some areas and birth gender in other areas at home I'm even though my mom knows I'm trans she doesn't respect it at all so I'm kind of used to that and then I go to school and I don't really get mis misgendered a lot and actually <laughs> I have this funny moment okay so I have this friend that I sit next to in my criminology class and I always not watching the video. <laughs> and I don't think he knows that I'm trans. So, you know, we're always talking and joking around and stuff. And the other day, um, I bind my chest, by the way. Eh, I don't know if you can see it. I freaking love this binder, man. It's awesome. Makes me feel so nice. Um, but yeah, so he's joking around, and he's like, ha 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 ha, punches my chest. And I'm freaking out, because I don't know if it feels like squished flesh, or if it just feels like a normal chest. I don't know if other guys can tell. But I, in, the, in the inside, I was freaking out. And my heart was racing, and I don't know. It was, it was it was pretty weird for me, and that was the first experience I've had with another guy that doesn't know my birth gender, if you will. <coughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, for me, since I'm pre everything, um. I'm kind of used to living the whole double life. So, stealth only happens in the classroom, I've noticed. All my friends, all, all the friends that I have now, know that I'm trans. And they knew me since before I even came out. So, I'm kind of excited to start living stealth. If I had the option to live stealth or not live stealth, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, if necessary, I'll tell people I'm trans. It doesn't really bother me because that's just another type of person. Like there's bigger people, skinnier people, dark people, light people, there's all different kinds of people, and I'm just a trans man, but I'm still a man. I may not look like other men, but I'm still a man, so I'm pretty confident in where I stand in my life. No one can tell me who I am, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I... I would feel comfortable telling people unless I work for them and or they 
control some aspect of my life, like employers. Eh. Teachers know. I have to tell teachers because my birth name is on everything, which kind of sucks. The other day, we had a substitute teacher. Ah, and this is the first time this has ever happened to me. It sucked. Um, we had a substitute teacher, and she called out my birth name in front of the whole class. And they all started looking at me, because my birth name was really feminine. Like, thanks, parents. <laughs> but my birth name was really feminine, and everyone starts looking at me. I'm like, <gasps> I prefer Osiris. It's Osiris. My name is Osiris. What you're reading is not my name. My name is Osiris. <laughs> so I don't know. That was that was kind of funny. Not looking back at it, it's funnier. It's more funny than it is like awkward. Whatever. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> my opinions on living stealth is that it's nobody's business literally nobody's business and that's like saying that's like oh i have to tell people i'm a short guy because they don't know what they're gonna expect or oh i should tell people i have sickle cell anemia because I mean, it's nobody's business, and if it comes up, it comes up, and that's cool, too. And I don't think people should judge people based off of what's in their pants, especially if they don't want to be with that person. That's definitely none of their business. Because you're not going to experience that with that other person. I don't, <laughs> I never understood that. Why people are so curious about what's in our pants. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird thing, curiosity to have. Hey, what's in your pants? I want to know. It makes my life. A lot more interesting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day. And stuff. Okay, I'm done wasting your time. Good night, y'all.